Is the AR-16 the best platform out there? Let's find out. All right, so today I am out here with the AR platform, and the only thing that's more confusing today than Joe Biden is this weather. It was snowing this morning, cold, then the sun came out beautiful. Oh my God, I'm going to shoot Get stuff loaded up, it's snowing again. Now the sun's coming back out. That's all right, because we're going to have some fun today. Uh, I'm not a big AR guy, but you got to appreciate the platform for what it is, because you have so many different options for cheap reasonable price and they work good so what we have here i'm actually just trying to go over everything i only brought one lower i have a couple of them uh because i wanted to show you what all you can do so this is the actual gun you buy it you register it in your name uh, unless you have like an 80 percent or whatever but legally speaking this is the gun so you can switch out the uppers the ones on there's actually a 50 bay wolf right now uh this is a 223 wild and then this is a 300 blackout and you can use the same bolt the same mags everything literally just two pins pull out and then you're good i mean honestly the only thing you really have to switch out if you didn't want to switch the uppers is just a barrel that's literally all you need just a barrel you use the same bolts in all the guns and then this is the ar-10 platform it's 308 you can get it in a 6.5 Creedmoor, uh, 22, 250, and a 243. And if there's any other ones, let me know because I'm I'm holding it out in a 6.5 Creedmoor just because everybody gets them. But I did find a 24 inch 6.5 Creedmoor that I'm probably going to have to get. So we're just going to get loaded up here real quick, and then we're going to. The only thing we're going to do, I was going to try like grouping this stuff, but I don't know. It's not really. <laughs> We got this plate steel. I grabbed a can of spray paint. I thought it was gray, straight up chrome, but that's okay because chrome's cool. This is uh, three eighths, I do believe three eighths or quarter in between there. I think it's three eighths hardened steel. Uh, them are from 50 BMG. Them are I think eight millimeter. I think that one there might be a green tip because that, that's all I brought for the two. Yeah, that one up there too. That's a green tip. They barely paint. They, they don't even really get a whole way through. I think that one did. They usually just uh, do that because it's pretty hard steel. And them are like probably like 500 mags stuff. They just dash the crap out of it. I think it was a shotgun slug actually bent this. I forget what it was. I said them are. I think 308 will go through this. I'm almost. We'll find out. 7.62 by 54R does. So let's see if the 308 does. And yeah, let me quit talking here and get this get this shit set up, brother. Okay, real quickly before I get started this video, uh, I'm already halfway through. Watch to the end or skip to the end. We're gonna shoot this here uh, spray paint can with his Beowulf. It's going pretty good. So check out that uh, extreme penetrator. I love this gun. <laughs> it's so fun. So oh, watch you if you want. Appreciate it. Okay, I'll show you real quick here how to how you can swap these out but the mag youtube doesn't like uh extended mag so i made sure i brought a 16 round mag uh so this is 50 beowulf ammo if you have a beowulf you can literally use any mag uh, that you want the difference really like this is made for a beowulf or 223 or any 300 blackout you see how that tip's not there actually i don't know if beowulf will fit in this one i think it will now, see how that ammo doesn't really fit in there. If you just dremel that out, or you get a mag that don't have it there. Like, uh, I was going to bring my 20 round mag. Like these metal mags, this is 308, but uh, same with AR, they don't have that tip in there. But with this mag, you could use Beowulf or 223 or whatever you want in there. So this is 223. This is 300 blackout. See, they're very similar. Actually, I thought the overall case length was about the same. They must just whack that off there hmm. they actually never really compared them side by side but here's a 300 blackout goes right in there Got plenty of room then you can put a 223 in there just don't <laughs> just don't get them confused there that wouldn't be good i'm a trained semi-professional here so put that away and then real quick like i said you just pop these two pins out here make sure it's unloaded which i didn't but it probably is 
So there it is. This one actually has a chimney trigger in it. It's really nice. And then well, all you do is that if you just get the whole upper, you just put this bitch on there. Make sure pin straight. I think there's like a little detent pin in there. I think this one's screwed up. Now we've got a 223. And like I said, we'll just set that down in an awkward manner. And we'll put 223 in there. We'll pop her in. Oh, <laughs> you got to put the bolt in there. Hold on, guys. Let me put that in there. Well, Alice, it seems we both got autism, haven't we? Yeah. Well, that's good to know. Okay, back to it. This is the bolt carrier. Uh, this is actually a neutered bolt. So if you have a full auto one, like which I do my other one, they come up to here for full auto goodness. If you have your license and such, or you know what you're doing, I guess. So you're going to put the charging handle in first. Okay, so you're going to put your bolt handle up in there. Slide your bolt. Oh, you got to make sure you're uh, it's like that. Which slides in there. There we go. Now, now we have a 223. So I got, I think, three rounds of green tip in there. And now we can charge it. There we go. And let me get you guys moved over here. Let me uh, set my tripod up a little better. Okay, that's better. So we got, I think, three rounds of uh, 223 in his wildy here. I'm not shutting this gun forever. Alright, let's go see what it did. Okay, so those green tips, they actually did just blow right through there. That's kind of surprising. Uh, maybe because I was shooting it directly on. I was trying to shoot them down here. I just shot that one low. I was trying to maybe I'm shooting low. I haven't shot that thing forever. But yeah, they blew right through there and smacked on the rocks. So let's see uh, what a 300 black owl do. I they're just regular ones i really doubt they'll go through okay so now i got same lower with a 300 blackout upper uh this has the atn 4k night vision scope on there you can run in daytime also same bolt uh some of your higher end guns they do have head spacing bolts uh these don't so you can just swap them out but it's something to consider so got i think three rounds of I think like 147 grain or something, I do believe. Yeah, well, you can see uh, more hitting power for sure. So let me go reset that real quick. Okay, we got our set back up. Let's see if we can fire. Uh, that's kind of dang. Oh, well. Yeah, let's see if we can skim across the top up there. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's go check it out. Okay, so you can see it just put a pretty, pretty uh, put a pretty big dent in there. Uh, so it has more hitting power. It doesn't can't penetrate as good. The 300 blackout's awesome for like coyotes and just I like it. It's a, it's a good caliber. But let's get back. Let's get to the Bay Wolf, man. Let's see what that thing does. Okay, next up we got my favorite. I think this is a 50 Bay Wolf. Uh, you can use the same bolt too. This one's a different different upper. Uh, you can get these in 350 Legend, 450 Bushmaster, 458 SOCOM. I mean, there's a lot. You get a 9mm. They're, they're definitely a different bolt carrier group and everything. I think so. You can convert them to 22. I mean, there's so many options. So we got, I want to say these are like 350. 50 grain or 440 grain extreme penetrator I forget whatever they are uh, I doubt they'll go through there I put this sig Romeo upper or uh, red dot on here and I'm loving it man you can still see the sights and everything all right let's see all right about all right still shooting actually I moved his sights that one hit low that was my bad <laughs> all right so I need to adjust this sight, obviously. <laughs> let's try this again. Okay, so let's try this again. Uh, I just put the sight on here. I just adjusted because I knew it was shooting really high. But I adjusted it too much. So, in theory, it should be good here. Oh, there we go. 
This has to be my favorite AR upper though. It works so good and man does it hit so hard though. So hard. I'm gonna shoot one more. This thing's it's so much fun. I wish the ammo was cheaper. Uh you can buy it for like thirty dollars. I think the cheapest I think is like thirty-two for a box of twenty. Which ain't hateful, but he said it just works so good. Oh yeah, I mean, there's some recoil to it. But this is a Bear Creek Arsenal upper. Some people shit on them. This is the only Bear Creek I have. I don't know. I mean, it works good. I can't complain. Like, it's been running great. And uh, so, yeah, let's hop into the AR-10 platform here. Okay, yeah, so she's definitely still hitting low. <laughs> Look at them craters that thing was drilled. And it almost went through. You can see the actual, like, Phillips head uh, dents in them. That's awesome. I might adjust that some more. And, it, like, look at that dent. You can't, man. It's hard to tell on camera, but in person, that thing, it fucked it up, man. That's impressive. I might try one of them hollow points, too. Just for fun. I was just about to walk away and I looked down and I found one. This thing is screaming hot too. <laughs> you can still see. How? You can still see like the Phillips head and <laughs> mark on that. That thing hit hard and perfect. That's so cool. Okay, so now we're in the AR-10 platform. And then this, uh, I think I was drunk when I bought this uh, scope. And I was like, oh, that look cool on there with black. I don't know if I really like it. I like the mount, but I don't know. And then it goes, it's almost too long. They don't line up, so it goes on the, the barrel there. So I have to get out and shoot it. This is the SIG Buckmaster scope. Uh, so far, I'm liking it because it's clear. And yeah. And so, yeah, this is the AR 10 platform. I know you can get a uh, 65 creed more i think 243 two, uh, 22 250 uh, any other calibers uh let me know you just same thing same bolt just i think it's the same bolt don't hold me to that i think it is but anyway so this is a 308 this kind of like my go-to rifle i like the 30 caliber because the price of ammo for 223 it's almost the same as 308 nowadays so you got a lot more a lot more oomph and uh, I just sighted this ammo in with plastic ammo. Just, uh, so <laughs> don't know where she's hitting. Yeah, absolutely, we hit it that time. Let's go check her out. Okay, so you can see the 308 just blew right through there. And then we're just full metal jackets with lead core. And being nice for 30 cal, you can actually get AP rounds, incendiary, all kinds of hollow points. Yeah, a lot more ammo choices. Except for the price of 223 nowadays. And you still get drum mags and everything. It's one of my favorite rounds anyway. But my uh, little can of paint here decided it's like, nah, I'm not going to work no more. So let's shoot its ass with a Beowulf. If only you had smell a vision because, oh, man, it smells so good. Dude, that thing annihilated it. I was, <laughs> I was a little concerned because it, uh, a little hard with a red dot. Hit a little low, but, yeah. That was from back there with a tiny red dot. But there she is. That paywall shoots so good, man. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. Like I said, I got some Ralphus rounds coming in and a couple other things. So, yeah, appreciate you guys.